then when when we talk about visualization okay the third important aspect is to understand which chart to create when because the, there are so many ways in which we can represent the data graphically and visually given a requirement no matter how good understanding you have of the requirement and the data if you are not aware of which chart to create for that particular question then again it would be a problem because how to create a chart everybody will teach and everybody can learn it's a few steps that we have to memorize and create the chart but to analyze and understand when to create that kind of a chart for what requirement am i supposed to create a bar chart for which kind of a requirement should i go for a pie chart when should i go for a histogram when should i go for a bullet chart when should i go for a dual axis chart so that clarity also should be there finally understand your audience because depending on the audience we are going to tweak the representation if you are creating a report let's say for the ceo of an organization or for the board of directors then what kind of a report would they expect the overall summary of the performance of the business and at the same time an ability to drill down wherever required if they want to focus on a region they should be able to do that if they want to focus on a particular state in that region they should be able to drill down and zoom in okay they should you, you they should at any given point of time be able to see the summary at the same time they should be able to focus on the element of interest zoom in zoom out drill in drill up all the such features should be given to them now let's say you're creating a report for the same organization but this time it is for a sales representative would you present the overall performance of the business across different branches across different states for the, to that person no right the amount of information we present would be very very less limited to the job role of the person or how much access or how much information is to be given to that person what would that person be interested in let's say a sales representative that person would be interested in how am i performing with respect to my targets will i be able to reach my targets how am i performing with respect to my colleagues where do i stand in the race how am i performing with respect to myself in the past right me against my targets me against my colleagues my competitors me against myself am i improving or not so depending on who your audience is accordingly you have to tweak the reports not we will not present the same report to everyone all right why am i saying all this now is because the, that's the next step we will take we will proceed to creating charts we will see how to visually represent the data okay but here it's because it's important to understand the data now i know there is a relationship between these two i know that certain products belong to certain types <coughs> okay and and excel is a very intelligent tool now suppose i go and choose coffee here it is showing me all the members pertaining to coffee and you see how in the filter also it is highlighting only those three right now from these three options which belong to coffee i can go and remove something that might not be required by deselecting it okay the rest of them are disabled because it's it should they should not be selected they don't come under coffee now if i choose espresso you can see how it has highlighted all the members belonging to espresso if i select herbal tea you see how it is bringing those members to the top of the slicer helping me easily again select what i might want tea it's bringing the tea related members on the top this is the beauty of a slicer of excel in general i should say okay it's a very intelligent tool now i'm going to allow multi select and i will be able to choose multiple things but whatever i had deselected earlier remains deselected i'll go and select decaf irish cream i'll have to go and select lemon to bring it back so it automatically understood the relationship all right next next we will talk about so slicer part i hope it is clear it's nothing but a visual filter that is one point that it's a visual filter the second point is even if a field is not present in that particular pivot table you can filter it by using a slicer product type was not used in creating this chart but i was able to put a slicer on product type the third point that we understood 
is the relationship between the members, if any, is automatically understood, automatically detected, and accordingly, very intelligently, the slice members in the slicers get updated depending on what you choose in the parent member. Okay, one depending on one member, the other one. Okay. Thank you.